What's up guys? George's River time. George's River Creek fishing over here. That's actually salt water. Sun has a couple hours before it sets. Gonna start walking around this bushy, bushy area. Gonna be bashing through the bush. Got my light stuff. Target today, brim and flathead. And you guys will be happy to know because down below that right there, we have a net. Let's put it to use right now. Oh, there's a snag right there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go get some grubs. Just going to start off with this one here. Z-Man grubs, bloodworm, two and a half inch. Get one out of the pack. And then, uh, pull that out. Oh, I got two anyway. That's it. That's the guy there. Looks pretty sick. And then, jig heads. Let's see what we got. One handed, push, push. Crack. Uh, don't want to make too much of a mess, you guys. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? Yeah, look at that. We've got some. 116 sounds jig heads. So that's going to go on. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. Not bad. Going to flick this one now. There's a lot of pockets of water here, but they're hard to reach. See, like there's, like there's a gap right here, so I could pretty much step down here and have a bit of a cast. That light though, it's going from like dark to bright to dark to bright. That contrast is incredible. And yeah, we'll probably have a bit of a cast around this section here. Probably have to step on there and then just start flicking it either side of me. We'll uh, mullet there, guys. Oh, yeah. Got something, guys. Got something. Oh, caught me by surprise. I was just watching those mullet. Oh. <sighs> Looks like it's down deep. All right, guys. Gonna go get my net. This is so bad. Gotta keep pressure on. So just loosen the drag, but keep the bend in the rod. So bad. Oh, just trying to unclip it from my bag. Yes, got it. There we go. There he is, there he is, there he is. That to it getting sawn off. Here we go. Yes. Woo. Yeah, we'll just put the rod down here for a second. Undo the bail arm there. Tell you what, guys, absolutely worth it. Just saw the mullet behind us, so I'll let him go now. You know what? I just had a quick look at it. It's kind of deep. I want to be gentle with the fish, and I don't think I can get it out. So, guys, if that happens, just grab that leader and give that a snippity snip right there. Less damage to the fish. Let's just throw this back up. Let's get the fish here. It's only a small one. We'll put him back in the water. Should be healthy to... Let's let him go. Just like that. Onwards we go. Let's go shove that back in. Let's pick that up. Let's get down. Rig back on, guys. And I'll tell you what. That fish there, really happy with that. And you know what? It was just when we started seeing some action in the water with the mullet. Mullet just zipping across the river. And I'll tell you, they would have seen flatted. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe that model, maybe a different one. Who knows? But that caused panic amongst the school. And then in that, in that commotion, my lure was in the mix. And that flathead came out and grabbed it. Bang! And that's so good. <laughs> See if we can get another one. So just going to keep working this. I, I need to probably lower the volume of my speaking. Because I'm scaring everything in the area, no doubt. So if the brim can't see me, that can certainly hear me. Alright. Couple casts. Let's move. Yeah, going to put scent on that now. It's got it got in my pocket, guys. Right here. Put that on. Probably upside down, I think. Anyway, gold gel scent. Like I said, I need to get some more S Factor, but this is what I've got on me now. Gulp Joe scent. <laughs> Still can't get it right. <laughs> yep, yep, in close. Real close. Flip him out, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. I think that actually spiked me on the leg, guys. There we go. That's the lure. I changed colors because I snagged up. Little guy here, send him back. Ah. Let's just check that leader. Yep, that's good. So we can go straight back into it. Just gonna head down that way. The grub out, get the grub out here. See all that stuff on the right there. All that water, let's start off. 
can fire one out that way. Yeah, what a cast. If I do say so myself. Ooh. Yep, yep. Right on the cast. I just didn't want to go any further there because I thought that I was going to get hung up. And then we're straight into another fight, guys. Straight into another fight. Right after number two. This one's probably the best one yet. Oh, really? A tiny bit bigger. <laughs> Fought like 10 times harder. That's another one, guys. Another another flatty right here. Look at this one. This one's actually a lot more brown. That other one had a more modeled pattern. That last one, that's more. And this one's just pretty much plain brown, huh? If you just open your mouth, buddy. There you go. Boop. Pop goes the flatty. Pop goes the lure. Pop back into the water. And we're back in business, guys. Right over there, just where that overhang was, huh? Just calling it and didn't want to get too far. Okay, so that one's got a little bit of a chafing. We're going to retie this one snippity snip. My gosh, just in that shrub here. That shrub right here. Look at him. Oh, and if you guys know what it is, is that a blue tongue lizard? Put it in the comment section down below. See you later, buddy. Hope you catch some fish too. Birds everywhere. Lights fading. Really working up a sweat, guys. Looks like it's just opened up over on this section here. Ooh. I think I saw a gap right here. We have one cast here. Trees or memory. One of the two. Yep. Oh, no way. That was so on. So with the light fading yesterday and getting a few really good runs that I think were brim, I thought I'd come back today, see if we can get one. I'll definitely tell you what, it's a lot, lot hotter today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was pretty cold. Just so quiet, just casting in amongst these snags. Still on the lookout for a fish, guys. Yeah, the name of the game is Stealth. That's no good, that's not stealthy. Let's get that stick off the line. Stealth isn't quiet. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I use my shorter rod here. Just helps me to cast around some of these mangroves. Getting real tired here. It might take a little bit of a break right here before we head around the side. Nibbles, sign of life. Just working it all the way back in first in case there's a big taker. Then we're gonna cast it back out in there. No hit that time. Yep. Oh, biggest hit in the world. That was a shut up the rod, no way. We're pants. We're pants, guys. <sighs> yep. 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 Well, doing circles. Woo. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, that never gets old. You just hold your breath sometimes when they do that. Oh, there's a snag right there. Now if you guys are wondering, I'm just trying to un unhitch the, 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 the net here. There we go. Oh, look at that, Shroom's got a net. Wow. Woo. So fun. So fun guys. Now, this could be a black brim, guys. I've always thought these were hybrids. But Steve Starling reckons these are blacks. So, <sighs> he's a good authoritative figure to say that. And yeah, these blacks do go hard out here. Uh, arms outstretched. I'm so bad at this, guys. Slide him in. I'm just better without a net. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> we got the job done. Oh yeah, boom. Look at that for a nice brim. My, my little pinky is shaking a little bit, that adrenaline. But I tell you what, whatever it is, if this is a black, it's a black brim. But guys, whatever it is, this was one of the best hookups in a while that I've had so fun. And we'll let this big girl go. See you later girl, we're gonna toss you out that way. As that sun sets, had a good day out here. Enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you in the next installment.